Hello Prime Coders, welcome back to Prime Coding channel. So in today's video, I will be talking about how to take input in Java language. Okay, my forget about C++? No. Already covered C++, all the situations, how you need to take input, how you need to work with TCS and QT compiler in the examination. Okay, I will let you know where would be the link. So many students get failed on this particular stage. They know how to implement or how to write the logic, but they don't know how to take the input. So if you are from Java or Python, this video will help you out to ace your upcoming TS and QT question. As I mentioned, this is a C++ video which I uploaded just 80 hours back. Okay, you can just check in the I button which might be on the uh, top right of mine. Okay, so you can just check. Otherwise, you can go to the description. You will find in the suggested videos. Okay, so this video would be pinned. Please go and watch if you are from C++. Okay, so now. This is multiple situations. So if you have already watched the C++ video, I explained all the situations that there would be a two, three situations in your TCS and QT compiler. Someday they will give you input like four uh, would be your size of the array. Five, four, three, two, one would be the array of the array. Okay, array of the uh, elements of the array. Okay, so five, four, six, two, one, simple without any n. They given you all the elements. Okay, so you need to take the input in this particular manner as well as this is the third, which repeats most of the time, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, comma. You can see under comma and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is another thing. Now, let's talk about the Java implementation, okay, which is important. So, Java static void input size, although we already uh, saw the situation. So, this is the very best situation where you have size given like 4 and you have element given respectively, okay. So, everything is given in a line and just you need to apply the logic and you're done. This is the best case. But, if it came into your test, it is good. But if it is not, then you have some pretty more techniques to apply well while you are taking that input. Okay, so this is the best case that you can use it. Now, public static void input as string. So this is the another case where you are taking input in the string format. Make sure that. Okay, so you are taking the input in string format. So token is equals to nine dot split. Now, if that thing has some uh, expressions, it would be split accordingly. And just need to create array or new array list so that whatever I have it will be converted into a list of strength then you created an array initialize an array list okay then i creating on that each character or you can say here we are naming it as uh tokening tokens okay just try catch block it will also help you to find what actually happening but let's say if you're not that good you can just remove it not a problem okay not a problem you can just use array dot add just make sure that you will be passing it into integer then only append into the array otherwise in your array also you will only have string values and it will create some other set of array, uh, errors because you initialize integer and you are giving the input in string format so you need to be very attentive when you are taking the input okay so system dot out dot print talent printing the array elements okay the main uh, agenda of this particular function is take the input in string format create something or I would say it is the array input would look like this space separate value easy something okay so you can give values make sure that you will write this code by your hands and make your hand dirty okay put the test cases apply and we're done so this is a java condition which I discuss if the array is just given in a single line okay just take it as it is now Let's talk about the another case, which is input without size. So array input, which is given the best case, we again assumed that the space separated value we got and those value are in the integer data type. Okay, that's why just creating a list straight away. Then until unless I am getting the values, I will be passing or starting my while loop and append everything, everything into my list as it is. Okay, when uh, EOF or end of the line reached, it will just terminate. And yes, it will be coming up here to print all the elements. Okay, so this is just a thing which so that you can visualize it so that we, you can see whether the array got all the elements or not. Okay, but this kind of thing sometime in your compiler, like if you use on VS code or local compilers, it may take unlimited values. Okay, so I will highly recommend you to use a uh, lead code, a uh, playground where the preset inputs are there. Just you need to uh, run the code and see it will it will definitely work because i tested by myself or if it is possible i will be providing you the link in the description as well okay so yeah uh, array dot add sc dot uh, next int is there so it will do it will work in this particular best case okay so now another case we have is this which is most used input format yeah so this 
approach is also you have multiple candidate in the examination but this approach is being a uh, little uh, advanced okay the in the examination you just need to specify to the constraints yes what constraints said regarding the element of array let's say instead of n i just write it as array element okay if the array element is uh, greater than 1 and it is less than 9 which means you have eight digits and all digits should be a single 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 so you can be very easy you just need to iterate on each thing and if it is digit just append it into your list and what done but what happen what happen if you'll uh, it says 10 to the power 4 then which means you have four digit or five digit number as well is it so you need to use this elif condition which will help you if your num string is greater than 0 uh, then definitely you will be uh, adding into your adding into your array by converting the string into integer so then you are done so num string dot length set it to again zero so that will uh, accumulate more number of characters than again convert into integer and append into the array as simple question state it is required it is required okay because in the in this arm it can be your input will look like this or your input will look like this so if your in like if your input look like this this program will work if you don't write if condition as well it will work but if your program is uh, if compiler is getting input in this particular format so you need to use this if condition so that after like this at this particular stage we have 4 6 5 like say okay so here what happen is we will reach to this particular end my num string will become my num string will become 4 5 6 and we don't have any stoppers okay either the question mark or either the close bracket so nothing will happen my num string will have the last character but we have not added into so we need to make sure that we check in the end okay we ch we check that whether my num string is greater than 0 which means it has something which should be go inside the array so yes again converted into integer then converted into new string putting back into the integer so that we can process or apply our logic respectively okay so this is the most uh use technique okay if the constraint is this then you can apply the if condition if the constraint is not this so you no need to write the elif condition as well why i am telling you how i am get this insights you just need to make sure that you are working with your compilers as well write the code properly let's say assume that it will only have one digit it will not execute to the two digit numbers okay so what will be the code and let's say there are two digits so what would be the code so you will get uh, understanding of it but what is my recommendation to all of you is first use or try easy approach easy approach take the input if you are getting some eof error or input errors then think okay now i need to take the input in string format so i will straight away take the input in string format and do the task or if you think if you are pretty good then right you take the input in string and pass it then it, there are high chances that on the very first run button it will run the code okay otherwise have patience don't lose your patience okay please attempt slowly slowly try to pass your array then put into the uh, slowly uh, iterate on the string put elements into the array create your array build your array apply the logic on that array and see the magic you are totally done okay so this is the thing so if you see this is the exact runnable code which ran on tcs and qt 2025 Third October shift. Okay, so this is the exact run code. This was the second code, second questions. Okay, second question I would say. So this was the code which candidate used to uh, apply on the compiler and it ran appropriately. Okay, although you should not use this kind of inbuilt function to find the sum of the array, just write a function which will get you a array sum. Okay, so yeah. otherwise all the codes are very very simple and easy to understand as you can see we have a scanner class we took an next line as an input then we close the scanner class then passing into check equal average here what is the assumption is my array element would be less than my array element would be less than 9 which means you have 10 digits only it will not go in two digits it will only remain in one digit itself and it has been passed creating the array applying the logic and getting the result as return true and false and we are done isn't it interesting so yes i just want to tell you is homework please try this homework otherwise you won't be able to code it there because it could be many situations this situations was taken in 2024 and 2025 on campus attempt so i took care of so it may be new problems will come so you need to be very patient 
need to analyze what is actually happening then try to write your code because quotation would be very easy quotation would be very easy you just need to make sure that you will be able to take input and you are able to apply your logic on that array okay so this is the yellow box say, say that it's in a uh, size of the array which means 4 is the size of the array and these are the array element 2 is the size of the array there is a comma also and 1 6 are the array elements 2 5 4 3 6 are the array elements and 5 is the size of the array so this is the format you may get in your nqt exam as well but if that's the case they will let you know that the first element or the last element of the array states the size of the element that you need to do so yes please do it and comment understood if you got the thing properly please code down the homework which i given so that your peers will get to know the solution of it because it might be few people won't be able to do and about the github uh, solution either i will put on the github or either i will uh, share you the link where you can claim it very easily for free okay so if you're watching till now please consider subscribing it like this video and i will bring more tyqs because input is done now we'll uh, give some more questions we'll do some more portions according to the input so that you will be able to solve more programming questions in your online examining in your tcs and ut examination okay so we'll meet you with a new video soon until then take care share this video with your friends